here we go. Let's continue. Don't worry. This uh, whole video is one big face palm. You're vegan, right, Void. Right? I don't think Blair oh, he's is a vegan, vegan. right? She, uh, she's definitely not a vegan, right? And you look at her. Ah, uh, yes, I'm. I'm very uh, fat. There we go. So there's that. Uh, I'm not vegan. Uh, he is correct on that. I am not vegan, so therefore I am fat. Um, that's how the rule is made. Um, because naturally, when you don't have any points, you resort to taking shots at how someone personally looks. So I really do enjoy that he puts this before five minutes into the video because it really shows just his general insecurities about even trying to come for me. Is that he goes, well, there was my point. I have no nothing to verify anything. So ugly. But then he goes on to call me sexy later in this video. So it's mad uncomfortable, no, like I said. Um, but not a vegan, guys. Definitely. I don't think so. I'm going to tell you why you should not support multi level. Which, for the record, um, I want to mention this. So, there's a store in uh, Colorado where I live that is called Natural Grocers, and it's it's a super fucking expensive grocery store, right? It is insanely expensive, right? But they have, and it, it is a vegan product, which is not like whatever, but it's a vegan mac and cheese. It is some of the tastiest mac and cheese ever. It's like called, from a company called Chow, I think. That is a bop. I will eat that over that. Like I will eat that mac and cheese over regular mac and cheese any day. So when they made a vegan alternative, cause there was a point where I was vegan for a little bit, um, that was a thing. And even after stopping being vegan, it's still delicious. So you know what I mean? Like I have no problem with integrating vegan or non-vegan products. Like if the food's good, the food's good. <laughs> and it might, might be garbage, right? But okay. that's yeah, not might the biggest be garbage. problem, okay. right? Oh, this I isn't the biggest problem guys. I haven't had an opportunity to order anything <gasps> oh. from multi-level merch. Okay. 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 My problem with Blair Bear uh -huh. uh, yeah. is the way that she markets and sells her merchandise. Okay. Uh, once again, let's go over this. And there's about 500 of y'all right now. Um, before this stream, how many of you guys knew that I even had a merch shop? <laughs> Do I market it? That's the first question. I don't market it. I I'm pretty sure most of you did not know I had a merch shop. That's that's what I thought. A few of you guys know I did, but most of you probably did not know I had a merch shop because I don't advertise it. <laughs> how do I advertise my merch? Please tell me, oh great, Andrew Frazier. And she sells it by going out and uh -huh. using the sensationalism and the negativity uh -huh. of multi-level marketing okay. companies. Now, I'll be the first to admit that multi-level marketing companies are not perfect, right? Oh, they're not there's perfect. They're far from it. Piss me off about them too. And there's a lot of network uh -huh. marketers that I want to slap. I just want to slap silly. He's on my slap list. <laughs> I want to slap silly. Yeah, maybe the problem is that you don't advertise. Honestly, maybe like it costs like with Shopify, it costs like $30 a month just to have your shop stay active, right? Um, so it's like, so I pay $30 a month to keep the shop active and then I don't even advertise it. And as you guys saw from my 28 day thing, I made $18, which, you know, once you take away like the 12 to $15 or whatever that they probably take on the back end, I maybe made $3 and then had to pay $30 for it to be up. So like I lost $27 this month on the merch shop being up, but like, yeah, I totally advertise it, but go off, I guess right just god right but you've watched my videos and didn't even know i had a merch line that's my point <laughs> level marketing is a perfectly viable way uh -huh. for anybody to make is it long-term passive income a pass okay let's take a look now since he referenced where is where's my other shenanigans okay so since he referenced in the beginning my herbalife intro let's go ahead and look up herbalife income disclosure just for a refresher for, since we haven't talked about herbalife in some time on the channel at least not in their uh whatever the heck this is <laughs> this video hurts me oh that's so small okay hold on let's find a bigger one is this one bigger open link in a new window all right this is garbage but let's try it anyway okay so this one, mm, Talented Ladies Club, I don't, I don't know. Holy shit, thank you for tipping $14. Here you go, Blair. <laughs> Holy hell, thank you. You don't, you guys do not need to donate or anything. You guys are vibing, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so here is, oh, uh, GBP, oh wait. Oh, with a downline. No, 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 that's not, I want all of them. I don't want just the downline. Leaders with a downline, uh, is this the active one? 
Ooh, that's interesting. Now I'm like, now I'm just sitting here like, oh, now these numbers are all interesting. Um, fuck it. Yeah. We'll just have to go with this one. Okay. Can you guys see this? Like, is that clear to you? Oh God, no. I No, this is not the one I wanted you to focus on. Okay. Oh, it, it's like 640 by 287. This thing is tiny. Shoot. I am so sorry, guys. Okay. So what it says is average payments from Herbalife, right? And let's go down to zero, right? Number of distributors that make zero dollars um, make up about 30% of people that make no money, right? So that, that very passive income, as you guys know, very passive income. Um, oh, average gross payments. Is that what I want? Oh, aver- okay, no, sorry. This is the number I want. I'm so sorry. So zero dollars, people who make zero dollars on average is 30% of the Herbalife sellers. The ones who make $292 gross per year is 47%. So 47%, so almost 50% of the people who work for Herbalife will make no more than $292 in a given year, okay? So because I'm not mathy, I'm gonna go ahead and just calculate that. So 292 divided by 12, that is $24.33 and indefinitely, but 24.3333333. That's 50% of people make $24 a month. That's passive income does not mean no income. That is true. But I, I don't know if I would at this point in the economy and how much everything costs, I don't know if I would consider that to be a true form of income income. Because the reality is, by the way, in order for you to be taxed, so by the government's own standard of it being taxable income, which means you actually made fucking money, you have to make more than $500 in a year doing that thing. So 292 is not 500. And you're right, that doesn't even factor in the expenses, the kits that they have to buy that are like 50, 99 or like 150 and like 200 or whatever the fuck it is. So I honestly don't know what the channel points do to be totally honest. I didn't set them up like Twitch set them up. (laughs) I should probably customize them sometime, but I do not stream on Twitch often. I'm starting to get back into it now, but yeah. Um, So in order for, Like, so we're at, okay, let me just add numbers here. So we'll just call this 30. I know the 0.6 is important, but we'll just call this 30 and we'll call this one, um, we'll just call it 47, right? So 30 plus 47 is 77% of people in Herbalife that are distributors, which is just just over um, three fourths of the company make less than $292 a year, which means that they don't even make enough money to be legally called income by the US government. I just wanna make that real clear, okay? So this guy's saying that they make passive income and because he took my intro from the Herbalife video, I assume he has a positive association with Herbalife. That's what we're dealing with. There's nothing wrong with owning your own business so long as it's actually your own business. If you are a multi-level Hunbot distributor for Herbalife, that is not your own business. You do not own Herbalife. You're not the CEO of Herbalife, right? So, sorry, like my soap shop, there's no one above me. You know, there's not like, you know, crazy corporate MLM soap company, right? I make the soaps, I buy the ingredients, I buy the molds, I take the time to plan to calculate how and what kind of oils and things I'm going to be putting into them for what kind of desired result. I'm the one who creates the coloring for it. I'm the one who decides the pattern, the sense and all that. Like that's my choice. I didn't buy a bunch of bottles from another company and then just going, hey girlfriend, let me sell this to you on Facebook. Like that's the difference. That's not a business. That's just shilling someone else's product. And the fact that over like 75% of people make less than that a year. That's, that's sad. But anyway, this guy said that, you know, this is legitimate passive income, but I disagree very strongly as you guys know. So let's go back to his uh, very educational video. Passive income that's gonna take care of them, right? Um, so right. there's an anti MLM agenda. Oh, right? it's an and agenda guys. From the folks, you know, from these great big companies okay. who mm. own these companies. It's usually the competitors of- Interesting. I am an independent channel. I am not signed to an MCN or anything like that. So I'm literally by myself. No, he is not a kid's channel, but he most certainly has the mentality of a child. So anyway. Hey. 